Hey YouTubers, Diecast Collectors, it's Jared White, the J-Man 63. It is Sunday, June 8th, 2014, and it is time for my shout-out video. I know I told you guys that I was going to do this a while ago, but haven't gotten to it. Some things have kind of been out of whack, and I've been busy going to some places, doing some things. So, yeah, finally got, finally I'm about to get to it here, so... Some questions, or not really questions, but some things I want to clear up here in case anybody's wondering. Um, haven't had any haul videos in a while, but do stay tuned for when the next one comes up because it's going to be worth waiting for. I'm waiting to get one piece that is going to be absolutely epic. Not promising I'll have it, but maybe it'll be likely. I don't know if it will be or not. You'll have to wait, and I'm not telling what it is. All I can give you a hint is Jesse James. So, there. And, uh, like I said, for those of you who are wondering about M2 machines, that I probably won't be doing for a while, because Walmart just doesn't really stock any M2s anymore, especially around my area. So, yeah, because us on the East Coast, we're always like three months late for any shipments at Walmarts, because when I get an M2 site, we're always receiving stuff three months late over here on the East End, so... Yeah, I don't know what that I don't know what that's all about, but so probably won't be doing an M M2 stuff for a while. I'll probably be reviewing some even nicer stuff, so stay tuned for all that. And uh we'll have a haul video soon, so like I said, stay tuned, make sure you keep looking back. Um also want to say I'm happy. I've got 227 subscribers now, so yay. And uh very happy about that. So pretty amazing stuff there 227 so doing a pretty good job here you know trying to keep people happy and just do what I can for the community so thank you guys all of you so first I'm gonna get to the community shout outs not the well just not necessarily people that comment on my stuff but I'm gonna get to all these uh, right here so first I want to give a shout out to Joe Kelly Jr. over there at um, Heavy Metal Models. He has a lot of good stuff, so check out his reviews if you can. You know, he he does all that premium stuff like auto art and all the neat stuff, so definitely one to check out. Dave Rebecca, shout out to them. You know, they've got a good Hot Wheels channel going on. Mr. Sensitivity, Mr. Seth, you haven't seen your stuff in a while, man, but very cool channel. Another good one. Joe Motor 49. Very good channel too. Toy Hound. I like uh, him over there. Anthony Cooper. He's got a pretty good review thing going on. Diecast Car Boss. Always a good channel to check out. Always like to see his stuff because he's always got the 118 scale stuff on there. So very cool. Sweet Diecast Boy. Very cool stuff too. Love seeing your videos man. Very cool. I'm glad you commented on my stuff. So thank you. Steven Langenfeld, always love to watch his diecast finds, so very cool channel too. JMC Porsche, I like your uh, reviews, man, the 118th scale stuff, Maisto and all that. That's kind of how I determine what, you know, would be a good thing to get, what wouldn't, so. Always like to look at JMC Porsche's stuff, WTFOR. Um, very cool stuff, man. I like your uh, Hot Wheels reviews you do on there, Johnny Lightnings. Auto Worlds, all that stuff. Like I said, very cool channel. King Hot Wheels, always a good stuff. Guys from Massachusetts, I believe. Very cool channel, check out. Heath Ken, like her stuff. Always glad to see when a, when a girl gets into collecting, you know, not just the guys. Very cool. Very cool channel. She has a good channel going on, so check her out. Mr. Hot Wheel 1968, very cool stuff. Diecastic, I love the way he reviews stuff on there. Very cool channel also. Wheels and Things, like how he does his stuff with a turntable. So, I always watch his videos because I like the unboxing stuff he does. And Josh the Collector Guy, I haven't checked you out in a while, but um, very cool stuff. Also, two more shout outs that I forgot to put on here. Uh, Mushroom, uh, he does some very good stuff over there. He's got the Hot Wheels reviews and all that, so... He's a good one to check out. And Oss Wheels, very neat stuff. Alright, so that is it for my community and uh, 
subscription shout outs so now it's time for the community board comments time to talk with people and get the uh, lowdown on some uh, channel stuff here so first off is Greg Elbray hey thanks for checking me out I enjoyed your comment let me know which one you like and I know what you mean the customs that you do man I'm I know you're the uh, guy that customizes M2 machines and Hot Wheels. Like I said, check this guy out. You know, you know anyone I'm mentioning, make sure you check him out. If you know, subscribe to him. So, Greg Elbray, he's got some really neat stuff on there. I like that uh, motorcycle that that you did, the Boss Lady. That was a cool bike, man. I love uh, motorcycles, man. I uh, I've got a Va I've got a couple Von Dutch bikes. So, very nice bike that you built. That's probably the favorite out of all the customs that you've done so there you are man there's your answer very cool stuff so check him out make sure you go um see him he's kinda hurting for some subscribers man I mean he does some amazing work and he's definitely worth checking out so go see his stuff we have Todd Daring and he says yes it what <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes it was Keith Winfrey's rest in peace and that's to my ride in the Dukes of Hazard. generally. I don't know who Keith Winfrey was, but, um, yeah, it was a very cool ride, and it was a lot of fun. So, thanks, Todd, for the comment. Joe Motor 49 says, your cat, Hemi, has excellent timing. Ha, huh? lots of good stuff there, man. Yep, pretty much one of my better Walmart hauls that I've found stuff at, so I don't usually find a lot. So, when it comes to finding stuff at Walmart... You know, don't really do it too often, man. So that was a pretty good Walmart haul. Heath Ken says, "Jay, man, those are some sweet eye candy there." From Heath Ken right here says, um, "Love the cars, all in all, pretty nicely made." To the uh, review of the uh, 50 Years of Hemi cars that I did. Well, thank you, Heath Ken. Yeah, I like those cars too. They're pretty decent uh, M2 machines, and I like. Uh, some of the stuff they do so yeah thank you for the comment alright so J car is 6842 I was about to say 52 6842 says was that the original generally and the answer to your question there is yeah that is an original generally I actually got to take a ride in so yeah it was a pretty cool experience so thank you Heathkin says Heathkin says, um, J-Man, I can see in the mirror, haha, <laughs> the only auto worlds I want are the station wagons, which I can't find. Hopefully I will. The Spider-Man car's evil twin is the hard one to find, I heard. I got all but the evil twin, because there were none. The car art is great. You got some good finds there. They're sharp. Yeah, I like the, uh, evil twin. I saw that one. I think it was like a Spider-Man paint scheme. It was another one of the Spider-Man cars. I'm not exactly sure. I think it was like him as um, like one of the older Spider-Mans when he had like the um, I'm not sure what it was, but the logo wasn't as detailed. It was more of a blocky logo. So I haven't exactly seen that. It is like the treasure hunt almost. And yeah, that is the hard one to find. And uh, Anthony Jones said just said subscribe. So thanks, man. You know always like people who just say subscribe so thank you I'm not even gonna attempt to read this guy cause this is like um R4 in Bush 53 says I'm sure you'll recognize it when I read it but I can't read your channel man you got it's really hard to read so great vid although I don't buy M2 machines cause the 164 scale are five bucks per car even the small even the small ones break easily and I just haven't haven't seen one that caught my eye 124 scale yet Johnny Lightning's did some cool ones I had a Johnny Lightning 124 scale 71 Challenger that was pink and a 64 Thunderbolt and an Impala I agree with you on the Jada I don't I really think some of them are crap because no steering and we're left with toy detail been trying to find Hot Wheels and Greenlight 164 yeah, it's hard to find those. I agree with you. All right, so, yeah, Jada. Oh, I can't say words about Jada here, but, yeah, I think they're terrible. I'd never, I'd never get into them, man. I, I, when I was young, young, when I didn't know 
jack about collecting cars. I used to buy Jada just because I thought they looked nice, but wow, how far have I come since then. So yeah, definitely understand, man. Jada doesn't make anything worth picking up except for like those Von Dutch bikes that I have. But yeah, it's really upsetting to see that Jada had such good quality with those Von Dutch bikes, yet their cars are a piece of junk. So yeah, definitely don't look into buying Jada at all, but green light yeah johnny lightning definitely and you know definitely love it you know lightning made some good stuff I man i've got a few johnny lightning pieces i've got that thunderbolt and i've got the uh... big john gasser i've got an impala and i'm trying to think what else oh i've got that thirty two four that they did in one twenty four scale so yeah i got a few one twenty four scale lightning same here man so yeah thanks and uh, I've said I'm not big on Maisto, of course not. Maisto just same here, man. I mean, their quality on their 118th scale stuff is just so so. I mean, you know, you never really find a decent one. But I've got a few that I got as gifts, but still, you know, I just I don't really collect Maisto at all anymore. Auto Art definitely, because Auto Art, man, they make some great stuff. And actually, there's one I want to get on eBay. It's a Callaway C12 Corvette. And it's actually a really good looking piece. I'm thinking about picking it up because I've seen the detail photos. And a guy on eBay wants like 50 bucks for it, which is more than reasonable for an auto art. Because they're, they're like $100 models all day long. Again, r 4 wish 53 says, uh, Yeah, I don't have any. I'm about four years older than you, LOL. I mostly have Sunstar Auto World models and Transformers. Yeah, well, Transformers are cool, definitely like them. I'm definitely debating on picking up some new ones from the fourth movie uh, when they come out with that stuff. So, yeah. Auto World, cool stuff too. You know, Sunstar. Some of the older Sunstar stuff, my friend Don says, is not that great. There's certain Sunstar models to get, but some of my friends have said Sunstar is not as great, but Auto World is cool. So, yeah. Definitely want to be careful with some of the Sunstar stuff, though. Some of their quality is not always there. Diecast Car Boss says, Nice, I saw one at a gas station once to the General Lee. Yeah, that's cool, man. Thanks uh, for the first comment on my video there. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the General Lee is definitely an iconic car. When you see one, it's pretty neat. So, thanks for the comment. Also, Diecast Car Boss says, The hood on the orange... Mustang is really nice to my uh, Mustang review for the uh, Twister Special and the other car. Yeah, I mean, I like the uh, Twister Special a lot, and I like that Shelby. So, yeah, definitely one of the neater cars that M2 has come out with in a while, so thanks for the comment. And uh, Diecast Car Boss says, nice Mustangs, what scale are they? And, uh, yeah, those were 124 scale, the uh, review I did. Yeah, that's, that was my response, too, so... There you go, there's your answer. Jed Do Fan 27 says, uh, nice find. I usually get modern 164 scale NASCARs from the present day. Eh, I, you know, it depends on what NASCAR stuff it is. I like it when Petty was driving and uh, Earnhardt. Some of the older stuff is more my, my taste. I mean, I don't really like the newer stuff because all the cars pretty much after a while look the same, but now. I don't know, because some of the new NASCARs, they're starting to kind of make them look a little different now, which I think is kind of cool. They're finally making stock cars look like stock cars, you know, like the actual street-going versions. So, yeah, there's certain NASCARs now that I think are neat, so I don't know. Maybe if they make some really interesting pieces, maybe, but I don't know, because some NASCAR stuff is kind of hard to sell, and if you're going to, you know, buy it, you got to buy it for low money. Because sometimes, you know, they make a new car every year and, you know, most pieces are kind of like having a left shoe. Everybody has one. So, it just depends on what kind of piece it is. You know, if it's really rare, I buy it. But, you know, I don't know. I haven't bought any 124 scale stuff in a while. But I like Earnhardt and Petty and Gordon. That's pretty much my favorite NASCAR drivers. Earnhardt Sr., though. JC18904 says, Sweet NASCAR collection, JMAN63. Yeah, they were pretty nice, actually. Pretty good yard sale score, so I was glad to get them. 
King Hot Wheels also said nice NASCAR is the same video old NASCAR diecast haul yeah really neat stuff so yeah I like some of the I do like some of the uh, older stuff I'm trying to find those pit row stuff that uh, Winter Circle did because uh, that pit row stuff was interesting I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that but it was like a little diorama that had figures with it so I'm trying to find some of that I wonder if I should get them because they're going for like eight bucks on eBay so yeah also King Hotwell said check out my other NASCAR videos got a bunch on my channel I'll make sure I look at that so uh, thank you for the um, reply man so um yeah we'll check out your uh, other stuff thanks King Hot Wheels alright hold on let me get back to where I was here right okay Toy Garage shared my video thanks Toy Garage I definitely appreciate it I always love when people share my videos very cool Iceman 22nd uh, said um, that was an excellent score on those cars I'm jealous especially on the petty stuff thanks man I try to um, find all the neat stuff, man. So, thank you. Okay, Urbanite Wheels 120 says, Congratulations on the subs, and I love the RLC Heavyweights truck. Yeah, that was actually one of my bigger hauls, the 200 sub special. That was a pretty good um, haul video there, so thanks for uh, commenting on that. Toy Garage again shared my 200 sub special. Thank you so much. And this Ash uh, Ranaqua says, uh, I can't read the name, Some it has a Scooby-Doo picture on it, says, thanks for subscribing, the video that made you sub to my channel wasn't a nice video, it's surprising that you subscribed because of that, check out the better version of that, and there's a video on um, thing. Well, you know, I try to subscribe to anybody that really puts diecast stuff out there, so thank you. But, um, yeah, definitely cool. So, thanks for the comment. And Ollie Dew says, Thanks for the sub. I subbed you also. Very nice videos. Regards, Ollie. Thank you. OC Cal says, Thanks for the sub. I will subscribe back. As well, nice videos you have for part one of my 164 Christmas haul. Thank you. Very much so. Collector's Dream says, Dude, you have some really cool die casts on my Christmas haul video. Yeah, yeah. I always try to you know buy neat stuff and not buy the same thing. So I definitely try to diversify my uh, tastes and my channel and keep it fresh and interesting. So thank you. And model car collector for old and new Mustang review. Very nice videos. I have two Mustangs in my collection. So yep. Thanks for the uh, comment too. NBF NBFD freak says. Got some of those Fusk models, and you're lucky to get all those. Can't wait to find more. Yeah, definitely a good find on those cars. I mean, I was surprised I got all six of those when I did, so I was glad I found them. And, uh, yeah, I think definitely that M2 should release some more Mopars. He said, heck yeah, get some more Mopars in the line. I completely agree with that. We need some more Mopars, so... Yeah, when they when they do the next Foost release, which is going to be like three more cars from what I heard, I hope they decide to do like the Foost Challenger or something like that, or the Foost Hemikuda. That would be neat to see, because uh, pretty much they need to do some different stuff, I think. So, M2 machines could do with uh, doing some different castings, especially in 124 scale. Um, Chevy Guy 101 said, Hi, are you subbed to me? Yes, I did sub to you, so thank you for the comment. Sweet Diecast Boy says, Dude, that's what's up. I love making long videos when I have nothing to do. I agree with that. You know, you know. sometimes I just like to you know, do that too. I, I agree with that. You know, Long day, just bored, just want to kind of talk about a car for a while. So, I can, I can see that. JC18904 for February Diecast Hall Racing Champions Hot Wheels says wow awesome haul dude hey man have you got a die cast car that when you get a die cast car that doesn't have a box what do you recommend cleaning it with well as far as cleaning die cast um there's this stuff it's it's a cleaner 
that they sell on the internet. You could Google diecast car cleaner, and it, it is an actual branded um, type of um, substance. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but and another thing is if you clean one, you definitely don't want to use Windex, anything alcohol based that will ruin the uh, graphics on there because I know that uh, I know that some of that stuff will definitely strip the paint and it'll definitely ruin it, so don't use anything alcohol based. I can't really, not sure what I'd recommend, but definitely like soft, wa soft wax, a terry cloth. That's what Auto World, um, Auto Art, sorry I'm getting mixed up here. Auto Art recommended soft wax and a terry cloth. So if you can get that like from a body shop or something, that's definitely a thing to consider. And uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not 100%. I don't really clean my stuff. I kind of just let it sit there. But I understand, you know, if you get one without a box, you definitely want to keep the box and keep it mint in the box. I understand that whole thing. So I'm not sure. Uh, look, look that up and see what you come up with. Geo Numez says, nice collection. I like checking out your collection all the time. I just uploaded a new video if you haven't checked it out. It out, brother. Thanks, dude. Very cool. Thanks for the comment. And I said, usually, yeah, that's what I said. Usually soft wax and a terry cloth. That's Auto World's recommendation. That was my reply. Yeah, that's what, that's what my thought is on it, too. So... Donovan the Great says love both of them on the old and new Mustang, the old and new Ford GT and Ford GT40. Thanks, man. JC18904 also said sweet dude. Thank you. Gio Numez on why I joined YouTube. My thoughts on the hobby. I've been trying. I've been buying all mine on eBay at a pretty high price on for diecast. Well, if you buy stuff on eBay, man, just uh, make sure you use all the tools like shipping, lowest first, and see what stuff is going for. Make sure you do all your research and don't try to buy stuff at too high a premium on there because eBay can charge the heck out of you sometimes. But I've, I've actually been finding some pretty good deals on there recently, so just make sure you're careful, man. Gio Numez also says, why well, join YouTube in my thoughts on the diecast hobby? Says, nice collection, brother, and I feel you on this video. That's why I join myself to show off my small collection I've been getting started. Oh, thanks, man. You know, I like, I definitely like to show my stuff when I buy it. So, yeah, that's another good thing that YouTube is a good avenue for doing. So, it's definitely a good avenue to show, you know, what you buy and stuff like that and get it out there to the public. So, that's pretty cool, man. Thank you. MBD Freak also says on January Diecast Hall says, I got a couple of the Foose cars by M2. Love them a lot. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. Definitely like the Foose stuff that they did. That was actually one of some of M2's better uh, 164 scale stuff. MBD Freak also says, Nice cars. Thank you so much. Again. JC18904 says, Nice dude. Kyasha fan. He uh, shared my video. King Hot Wheels said nice die cast. Again, thanks. I like to uh, see people commenting, so thank you so much. Mighty Mouth 774R says thank you for subbing. Well, I'm glad, man. I appreciate it. So, uh, definitely like to sub to people when they have good die cast videos, so thank you. Mad Moo 187 says awesome stuff, man. I got that Chevy. I got to find that Chevy pickup in GTX. Yeah, well, green light stuff is definitely uh, good pieces, so it, definitely a neat haul there. So thank you for commenting. Ariana Annie says, hi, that was a brilliant diorama, man. Very good indeed. Merry Christmas to you. On Cars in the Christmas Village. Ha! <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. I just did that to annoy my mom, and I kind of do that every year as a joke. So, yeah, pretty funny. She's... Kevin A. Creedon says, thanks for the sub. Thank you, man. JCS, JCS GTR says, great, great, lots of cool, lots of fun, cool. I've got to do that to our village, to the uh, Christmas Village Hall. Well, thank you. Scotty DTV says, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Oswheel says, Cars in the Christmas Village. He says, Nice one. Merry Christmas to you and the family. Thank you. 
King Hot Wheels on Cars in the Christmas Village says sweet. WWE5155 says to Cars in the Christmas Village cool. Marty Franz again to the same video. Cars in the Christmas Village says pretty neat setup there. Good video. I never meant to. I meant that to be funny. I never meant that to get all those comments. But thank you guys on the uh, Christmas Village Cars comment. That's pretty funny. Sweet Diecast says awesome setup, man. So there we are, almost to the end of this page here. So uh, said um, JCSGTR says really nice Impala. And uh, JCSGTR says, I also agree with you on the diecast Bible. What I like and hate about today's uh, diecast industry says, I also agree with you. What I don't like so much is that all the Xmas Easter nostalgia cars that use the same castings all the time. I would like to see some older cars like the 30s and 90s. I agree with you, man. Hot Wheels just keeps redoing the same junk over and over again, and I'm getting tired of that. And I completely understand what you mean by that. Picker Nation says, for myself, I like the muscle on the uh, diecast Bible, Why I, what I like and hate about today's diecast industry. says, for myself, I like the muscle, but some of those nostalgia castings suck. I'd like to see some years of certain cars done, many years of muscle cars. You know, I won't read all this, but yeah. You know, I agree... And it doesn't make sense you had to buy a few cars out of one set since you already have the castings already. But I, I completely understand, you know, I don't like the Hot Wheels doing the same cars either, so. Kiyosha fa Fan says thanks for subscribing. And, uh, rest of them, there's really not much else. So, guys, thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for your videos so much. You know, again, this is only my first shout out video so bear with me you know but thank you guys for everything and uh like i said make sure you check out my other stuff rate comment subscribe as usual you know i know i say that all the time but make sure you do you know if you like something hit like you know comment if you if it's something you really like you know piece you want to get whatever so anyway i gotta go have a good one guys goodbye